my 3 ton r is back from first service and post that i decided to push it a bit and that is how we get this speed versus rpm video the torque distribution is really nice in the low and mid range and you can do without much gear shifts where the sixth gear can be engaged after 40 km per hour where the motorcycle cleanly pulls once you cross 50 km per hour which comes at around 3000 rpm even in sixth gear the acceleration is quick enough that the speedometer starts to skip numbers and in no time you are doing speeds above 80 km per hour coming back to speed versus rpm 60 km per hour comes at around 3750 rpm in sixth gear you keep accelerating and just shy above 4000 rpm you reach the 70 km per hour mark as the rpm climbs to 5000 rpm the 3 ton r responds with 80 km per hour which feels like a silent zone on this motorcycle where it just glides in the direction of the velocity vector the experience remains the same once you cross 5500 rpm while doing 90 km per hour you can distinctly feel a surge of power from here as the 3 ton r enters triple digit territory doing 100 km per hour at around 6250 rpm As you approach 7000 rpm the 3 ton r takes you to 110 km per hour this is where the wind starts to bother you and you can also feel the buzz on the fuel tank but the power surge continues which will take you to undisclosable speeds which i won't be cruising at as you approach the top speed territory as we speak of rpm do note that bmw has marked the red line from 10000 rpm on the 3 ton r As I continue riding and spending time with this machine, I am making some really important observations which I plan to share and discuss with all of you. Now before that, let me know in the comment section if you want a video on the first service experience and of course a price breakdown on the jobs carried out. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.